Hello, I'm Dmitry Lysenko, and I'm going to introduce you to my new course on percussive acoustic bass. We will start with a simple drum beat, only kick and under the body snare. Uh, we're using lower kick and keep your hand relaxed, don't uh, stiff it. Uh, you should have a feeling of a free falling hand. So wh what you're gonna do is to raise your arm and let it fall. Again, you raise your arm and let it fall, like a free falling. Don't put any force on it. Yeah, You have to keep your hands in relaxed manner all the time. And you do the hit uh, with this part of your arm, with the heel of your arm. And we are using under the body snare. Uh, personally, I hit with the middle finger. Yeah, just a simple hit. Uh, be careful uh, on some bases, there are sharp edges. You can hurt your finger a, a, li a little bit, but um, uh, you need to find the right position. So try to move your hand a little bit lower. And yeah, now we're gonna play these two elements together. Kick and snare. Kick, snare. Kick, snare. Kick, snare. Avoid any unwanted movements. The less movements you make, the faster and easier uh, you'll be able to play. And it's important to practice rhythms with metronome. Uh, you're starting with a slow tempo and speed up a little bit. So let's play the whole rhythm slowly. Yeah, it's all the time. Kick and snare and only at the very ending there's two kicks. Which I'm sure will be fine for you. Now we're gonna play the same beat, but we will add one more element, it's hi-hats. And we're gonna play up and down stroke hi-hats, and also we'll use different kick this time. In this exercise we're using all three drum elements, kick, snare and hi-hats. Um, the kick uh, this time we're using upper kick and it's performed a little bit different. Because we don't have this large amplitude uh, to get the decent sound, we have to do slightly different movement. It's like you are boosting accelerate on your motorbike. The movement like that. Let's try it again slowly. Yeah. Then for uh, hi hats, we're using up and down strokes. So it's uh, the same as a guitar technique, which they're using for standard playing. So with our fingernails, we're just kind of strumming all the strings. It's uh, a little bit uh, like a flamenco technique. Up and then when we go back, we're doing upstroke. So this is down, this is up. Upstroke could be a little bit hard at first because uh, we can't do it with our nails. It's uh, with our fingers, which is which are softer, and the sound is not so uh, edgy. So you have to put a little bit more force into it, but you will get it. And also we're using different snare this time. Just the hit with our middle finger into this part of, uh, of your bass. So again, uh, think about the movement. Don't, uh, don't let your hand to fly around. Let's start slowly. The first one we do kick, first movement. And our, when we've done it, our finger, fingernails are here. And we can just unleash them and make this sound. Yeah? So, one, two. One, two. Then we do snare. 
So again, after we performed uh, hi-hat, our fingers is already here, so all we have to do is just to put them down with a, a little bit force. Yeah, so let's try these three parts together. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then at the end, when we have played the snare, we're basically just sliding our finger on top. Like that. Snare, hi-hat. Snare, hi-hat. So all four elements. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I forgot to tell about uh, the left hand, it should uh, always stay on the neck and uh, mute all the strings. Okay, now we'll try to play it slowly. Yeah, at the end there are two kicks. Yeah, and we avoid the uh, downstroke hi-hat. And just doing like that.